Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Me. What up, it's the Kid Fifty. We out here at ATL. We have Rebel tonight. It's going down. You already know how it's going. Ah. You know the money is coming in. It's your boy Fifty Cent. Check Google. How oh, I missed that? Don't even have like a lawsuit or something, my chick. No, let me miss Google. Let me let me hear. I might have just said some sh that don't nobody know. Hey, whack, you cutting up, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very yeah, likely, whack. Very likely. You've been cutting up oh, lately. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, they ain't mentioning it. Up, get up. It's what it is. I had already said this shit. Irv got he got a stroke. Oh, Damn. Shit. Hey, I'm going to let y'all see what he looked like. You got the picture? Yeah, I got it. Wow, wow. Uh, man, check it, man. Look like Irv Gotti's uh, been confirmed to have had a stroke. Um, Irv Gotti is, uh, as we know, Murder, Inc. CEO. Um, he, he had pa past dealings with so many different people, but uh, the Ashanti situation. Um, all of this stuff, man, from uh, him and uh, 50, but 50 is something else. Because 50, I played first because he was the first one that, you know, I really, really started seeing them beef hard. Like him and Irv Gotti and Ja Rule and them beefed hard. Well, 50, you know, 50 pretty much posted, you know, Irv Gotti on the walker and walking with the cane. And it's a very evident that this is a true thing, man. And um, I don't know what date it actually happened or, or how long ago it happened. I know he's in recovery mode because he's on that cane and he's walking. Um, I have family members that done had strokes. This stuff can be passed down genetically. Uh, got an uncle that's suffering right now with a stroke. So we have to be mindful of what um, pretty much uh, our health and things that go on with our health. So I just said that to say, man, we got we to gotta get strong. We got to do things on a whole nother level when it comes down to uh, this whole situation. Uh, I got my girl reality TV. Like I said, I could I, I definitely reality TV You got to help me with this because you you're a nurse. So you've seen these things before How hard is it to recover from a stroke if you catch it in time? Oh, it's, it's I know a lot of people that have had a stroke and if you do the you know right physical therapy and stuff like that you can recover you know, but uh I, I've noticed that a lot of people have been having strokes and stuff because I remember they was trying to say that Martin Lawrence had... I remember that. Yeah, I've seen that. So I, but me personally, I feel like when it comes to stuff like that, people are people do want to keep it private so they can heal. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because six months ago, or I think they were saying it was like he had the stroke like over six months ago. And now he's at home with his family. But it, it came from, he. I think he's been suffering from diabetes for years. Was that Irv Gotti? Yes. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, black people, we have to really take care of ourselves, especially like eating. We are the number one race that has diabetes and um, high cholesterol and stuff like that. So that comes from not eating well. So be mindful of those things. And nowadays, nobody has time to even eat right. It's more of a convenient thing. Nobody want to cook it. Nobody want to grow their own food and stuff like that. And I think that's where a lot of these health problems are coming from. That's why a lot of people are dying because of eating. Wow. But, so dieting properly is so important. Um, like when you see some of the people that go through strokes and looking at his picture, he didn't look as if it just took a real, real toll. I can't, I'd have to see his actions and stuff, but, but it, I'm saying they were saying it was like over six months ago. So, you know, he has money, so he can probably get that in-house physical therapy probably every day. Some people insurance only pay for once a month or, you know, twice a month. You just, it just depends on physical therapy and the support and, uh, you know, your insurance. Yeah, your insurance. What do you think about 50 uh, speaking on it and somewhat trolling him on the situation? Knew that was coming. So 50, ain't, 50 don't play no game, no no bars, hold hell. You knew that was going to come. 
Wow. I mean, um, you know the the beef is real when 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 even if you have a stroke fifty not letting up off for you. He's gonna keep on coming for you no matter what. From Hurricane Chris now to Irv Gotti. Uh what do you think about WAC one hundred giving out the information first? Do you think he was wrong for that? Or do you think he should? That's what I'm saying. I don't think that's right. And see I I feel like that's a part of him because he said he got it uh, from somebody in the facility. Yes, that worked. That's what I'm, and that and that girl should be fired because you're not supposed to be letting that type of information out to nobody. Yes, but with the right amount of money, anybody's information can get out there. You know. And, and, okay, and you can go to jail for telling stuff like that. Because that's one of the criteria that they tell y'all when y'all dealing with medical practices. It's called, it's called HIPAA. Okay, yes. well, HIPAA, and, and that's that's pretty much saying that you can't speak on It's like a non-disclosure oh. for nurses. Right. You sign off on that. It's in your paperwork when you get the job. Wow. Wow. So do you feel like um, WAC 100 was wrong and should be, you know, penalized for that? Or the woman, you saying the woman that told him should be fired, not not that WAC did anything wrong. Because WAC just pretty much doing what WAC do. He's in the media. That's what WAC's going to do. He's not going to let up either. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can sue. I'm, I mean, if Irv got it, he probably can sue for, you know, leaking that info. Well, he said the rep told, too. They, I mean, the rep told after, you know, WAC 100 said. So he had to clear it up. But I don't think it's right to be, you know, talking about people's health conditions and stuff like that. I feel like if they want people to know, they will let you. I'll be like O.J. Simpson and make my family sign the NDA. Wow, well, Wag One well, about O.J. and see that. Yeah, Wag One Hundred is um, uh, definitely. I mean, like I said, he does what he does on on on, on uh, his uh, platform. So you can't be mad at him for doing what he does. Um, Gotta the, remember though. One day, his time might come. There you go. There you go. Now, that is a reality, of, a harsh reality of everything. Reality. <laughs> well, what do you think about, do you feel like um, Irv Gotti and um, these guys, when they get in these situations, should they um, try to rectify all the wrongdoings that they've done? Ashanti, she feels slated. Um, I'm pretty sure 50, he feels slated. A decent conversation before they... You know, when something critical like this, before something worse than this happened, do you think they should make amends with their enemies? Why? Why do people feel like when things go wrong in your life, that's when you should get right? You should be doing that before then. Wow. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. It's reality TV, so you should be doing that before the end. Guys, make sure you guys like subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's just talk about it for a second, man. Is reality TV right? Should that woman be fired? Um, Wack 100, uh, things gonna come back on you one day, according to Reality TV. Um, what do you think about 50 Cent as well? Um, trolling, uh, Irv Gotti when he's in a state that, like he's in. Let us know in the comments. Let, let, uh, help us understand, uh, what would you do if your family member was going through it and 50 was pretty much trolling him or, if WAG 100 leaked information, how would you feel? Let us know, man. These are public figures, though. You got to understand that. So definitely signed up for it, man. Make sure you guys um, let us know in the comments what you think. Boss Talk 101 reviews for the Bosses Talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.